In this video, we will work on burnt flattened surfaces on this image with camera raw filter. If you are not using Photoshop CC or for any reason you don't have this filter, follow the next chapter. Alright, I go to the filter menu and select camera raw filter or shift control A or shift command A on a Mac. If you tweak any parameters here, it will affect on the whole image. We don't want that. So I hold on the Alt or Option key and reset the camera raw filter. This time, I activate adjustment brush. Now, for example, if I change these values too much to be much more visible and start drawing, you will see these changes only affect anywhere I did paint. The good news here, after drawing with your adjustment brush, still you could control it. For example, I will decrease the exposure, contrast or any other values you will see here. I could select this adjustment layer pin and press delete or backspace to remove it. So with this knowledge, we could fix these issues. I start to draw these areas I want to fix before I decrease my brush size and start drawing. Don't worry about the lightness or any other adjustments. I think it is good for this area. We have mask option here. If you enable it, you will see the areas affected by this adjustment brush. I could change the color to be much more visible. For example, red color. All right. For example, I don't want to affect on this surface. So hold on the Alt key, decrease your brush size and start to remove any place you don't want. I think that's fine. Disable the mask option and start fix the values. Exposure is set on positive 0.5. That's fine. I will set the contrast on zero. Also shadows zero and blacks zero. Only I will tweak the whiteness and highlights. I want to adjust also right side of this building, but not as much as this area I already painted. So I will activate create a new adjustment or press N. Now start drawing again. As you see, this value for the right side of the building is too much, but no worries. My new brush adjustment is selected. I will Tweak the highlight and whiteness. I think that's fine. Enable the mask, hold on the Alt key and remove any areas you don't want. You could see by activate toggle to default setting or press backslash to see before and after. If you move your mouse pointer on any pin of adjustment brush, you could activate it and continue to fixing any areas you want. I think this is too much, so undo that, select the other adjustment brush and start drawing. I think this is much more better. So again, before and after. You could see easily we enhanced much more details for surfaces, especially you could see, for example, here, compare before and after. Before, look these surfaces and after. 
I think we still we could increase the detail enhancement here and here also maybe here press ctrl 0 to fit your image on this screen if you're happy now press E from your keyboard or go to the edit part again I will scroll down to find clarity, texture, and dehaze. I usually use texture and clarity to increase my details. Allow me to zoom on this image. By increasing texture, you will see our surfaces details will enhance much more. Also clarity will increase the details enhancement too. I think that value would be fine. Actually, I think these surfaces is still is too burnt. So go to the adjustment brush or press K. Select your current pin and tweak them again. I will decrease the lightness, maybe even uh, contrast a bit. I will create a new brush adjustment and overwrite settings again for these areas and these areas. Hold on the Alt key and remove any part you don't want. You could get help from the mask options too. All right. Control your settings. Now change your value as much you want. Alright, Control 0 or Command 0 on Mac to fit your image on the screen. So this is before and after. Any part if you need to remove, only you could select it. Enable Mask, hold on the Alt key. I hold on the also Alt or Option key and right click and drag to resize my razor size and start removing. So once again, before and after, I think these tweaks are enough. Press OK. Go to the view, show and hide the guidelines. Notice that because we made that layer as a smart object, still we have these filters here as camera raw filter. If you double click on that, you can readjust it also we could enable or disable it and we have the mask filter for this smart layer for example if i select this mask enable the brush with the black color start painting any part i don't want we could revert these changes for example these areas i think is too dark so I could decrease my opacity of the brush with the soft brush start to remove it. 
and I think even these areas is too much dark. Let's see. Also, these parts maybe could decrease, or maybe better to use in flow. Fine, I think that result is acceptable for now. In the next chapter, I will fix the burned surfaces with manual method.